Okay, hello everyone, welcome to a new Skypers video, it's Fedek here and today let me show you the quests that I did this week as always, <laughs> there's nothing new with that but anyways, the first quest that I did was Shadow Village I wanted to mine gems for a challenge, a daily challenge that I had and I thought why not, why don't I do Shadow Village and, you know, apart from getting the gems, I can also get access to a very important city which has a, a very nice fishing spot, uh, a good slayer master, uh, you know, it's, it's a really good city, it's something to have. So yeah, this is a quest that I recommend that you do mid-level, you know, the, the boss is not hard and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's you have access to a really nice place. Uh, next up, I decided to start doing quests focusing on tasks. Uh, this one specifically is Murder Mystery. Um, which I think is required for the, the easy tasks of Serious Village, I think, or the medium tasks. Uh, I don't remember. But anyways, I, I want to do tasks because, because they give a significant amount of XP, but also because they give items that are very rewarding and, you know, for collecting resources, they're actually very good. Like the Serious Headbang, it allows you to, to woodcut two logs per tree, which is really good for an Iron Man. Really, really, it saves a lot of time. But anyways, let's move on. Uh, the next quest that I did was Merlin's Crystal. This is uh, a really easy quest. At this point, I decided to start using less the uh, guides on the wiki because I found out that I was wasting more time reading the guides and finding out what to do next step than actually, you know, reading the dialogue, paying attention to that, and figuring it out myself. Uh, so yeah, I'm still using guides for the puzzles and the difficult things, but. You know, for the general questing, I, I'm not using guides anymore. Because I think I save more time with that. After, immediately after Merlin's Crystal, I did Holy Grail. Holy Grail is a quest that I recommend that you do very early because the requirements are not very high. And you can get 11k per XP, like 15k defense XP. I mean, it's it's a, a, <laughs> a big amount of XP. And considering that there is almost no requirement, I, th I think there's a kind of crafting requirement, if I'm not, I'm not sure. But the requirements are not very high, so that is one quest that I recommend that you do very early. Next up, I did Ergar's Ruse. It gives 11k Hellor XP. As soon as you can do it, do it, because Hellor can be a little bit low with an Iron Man account. Uh, or, you know, generally training, it can be very expensive, and it gives 11k at level... I think you need like level 35, so it's really good that you do it very early. Uh, and it allows teleport to troll him, so that is good if I had a magic level. But well, right after that, I decided to uh, go to the to the tree no to the tree gnome stronghold and do the grand tree. This is a quest also that I that I forgot about, but I actually recommend that if you get your magic level up soon, uh, you kill the boss. I mean, the boss is level 90, but it's easy because if you can trap him, you have some rocks. And with magic, you can easily kill him. Uh, it's a demon, but it's a quest that gives a lot of attack XP. So it's something that I say that you do early because considering it has not almost no requirements, uh, it's really good to do it early. Next up, I did Garden of Tranquility. It's a quest that might seem boring, but you know I think it's one of my f I'm not saying favorite quests, but you know it's something it's a quest that I always remember. Because it's a quest that actually has an impact on the game. And I like quests that have an impact on the game. Like, in this quest you build a garden that always remains there. Or you steal statues that, you know, every time you go to Lumbridge you see the the, the stamp where the statue used to be. I think that is cool. You know, there, I, there are quests like, I don't know, bring home the bacon. Which don't have an impact on the game. You just do it and then there's no evidence that you did it. Yes, you can cook bacon, but... Is that really good? But anyways, talking about the useless quests, uh, I did Clock Tower. You know, these are the quests that they give a couple of coins and quest points. <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing rewarding about them. There's nothing. Don't. It's not even hard. The puzzle is not even hard. So, yeah, I had to do it. You know, just for the quest cap. Uh, another quest that is kind of bizarre, but I had a lot of fun. In Monk's friend. It's a quest where you have to get a blanket that was stolen from the son of a monk <laughs> and it was stolen by a, by a gang of thieves, I don't know why, and then you have to get a drunk monk to come to the monastery and have a party with balloons and monks dancing. That's a quest. 
I don't know who designed this quest, <laughs> but I had a lot of fun because it's so bizarre, you know, it's it's so rare and so weird. It has no, it makes no sense in the game or even in real life. It makes absolutely no sense at all. But well, uh, the last quest that I did this week, as you can see, I didn't, I didn't do a lot of quests. Uh, I had a kind of, I had, I had a, a kind of wish, uh, ah, of busy week. Sorry. Uh, the the quest that I did is the observatory quest. Um, nothing special about it. There, there's a little bit of walking involved, and you know, I didn't like it a lot because it's just well, you fetch items, and well, if you have him, you if you have them beforehand, I mean, you're okay. So yeah, it's, it's not very hard. But well, the last clip, uh, uh it's not a quest, this, but it's like um, that I got level one thousand total. So yeah, apart from questing, I've been doing some skills. I have most of my skills are on level thirty. I think there's just two or three that are under thirty. Uh, one of the main things that give XP for me nowadays is challenges. You know, the herbal challenge is really good. I mean, every time you have a herbal challenge, you do it because it gives a lot of XP. But anyways, moving on to the tips this week. The first one is uh, Dagon High Monsters. This, these are some mages that are found in Chaos Tunnels. Uh, go to the wiki, search for a map of the Chaos Tunnels to find out exactly where they are. Where they are. The thing about them is that they haven't been updated uh, before, after UFC. So they have the level that they used to have. You know, the, the wrong level, 123, which seems a lot. But they, are, they only have 88 life points. And they don't hit a lot. They hit tens, you know, that, that's the highest, I think. They, they, they don't hit a lot. They have very low defense. You can... Uh, some of them you can one-hit them, depends on your stats. But I recommend that you do this. Even if you are mid-level, you know, level 70, level 60. Train here, because you can one-hit them, every, each as every one of them. And it gives 280 XP. And they are not even... They don't have even weakness because they are so so easy to kill that I mean you can train range here you can train magic here you can train a lot of things here, uh, the you know uh, I think the the wrong thing about this I think is that it would probably be fixed soon, so maybe by the time that you are watching this video, it's gonna be outdated. So yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> At the moment, I think that they are still very good XP. Uh, I think that, but the problem is that they are becoming popular, quite popular right now. So, yeah. Uh, probably Janice will notice it, because I, I learned this from a um, video maker, and if he did it, you know, a lot of people found that. And, and when I, and when I came here, uh, I, it was really crowded. I, I had to find a word, and which is something that nothing hap doesn't happen very often. So, yeah, but, if you are watching this, you know, as it goes live, just go and train here because it's really, really good. The second tip this week is uh, familiarization. This is a destruction and diversion, if you don't know it, where you enter the speed realm uh, from a small obelisk that is like activated and has little sparkles on it. Uh, I don't know how often they appear, but it's quite rare to find one of those. Uh, I think there are friend chats that, that can help you with that. The thing is that you can get, you collect the raw shards. You can uh, you can get up to sixty, and what is really good about this is that yeah, at the end it allows it allows you to um, to have forty minutes of triple charms. So if you get charms on the next forty minutes, you get three of that instead of one. Or if you would get three because they are both, for example, you would get nine. You know th that kind of th that that kind of th three times more. Um, I thought because I am an Iron Man. And one of the most difficult things for me, for Slayer, for someone in sorry, is gathering the resources, the, the, the ingredients. Uh, so I thought that maybe it would be cool, in, instead of going for the 40 minutes of uh, triple charms, instead go to the other reward, which is uh, a bunch of secondary ingredients of summoning. But it gave me really f a very, very, very few. I don't know if it's because my summary level is low or what, but it didn't give a lot, and I was kind of disappointed. So my recommendation is that you stick to the 40 minutes. Right after you do this, go grab some gear. Uh, you know, go do it. 
it's, it's really not hard and you have 40 minutes of trish pull chance which help a lot believe me you can go to water fins if you're high level or you can just go train slayer and you'll be fine so my final tip is a uh, resource dungeon every five levels of dungeoning you can unlock a new resource dungeon i recommend that you visit all of them if it, if you're not gonna use them because they give some dungeon XP when you enter for the first time uh, and they have very very good resources for example this one you know it has some willows and maples which are not really very special because they are far away from a bank but if you have the dungeoneering aura 2 you can access another area within the dungeon where you have a deposit box and 3 use and considering the fact that there is no one around, I think this is the best spot to train with Guardian. So I recommend that you get it. I will be getting it soon. I need some stats. But anyways, this was all for the week. Um, uh, as you probably know, this is John says I will be doing more videos on uh, Saturday instead of Friday. I will be uploading my videos on Saturday. Sorry, uh, because I found out that it's quite difficult to do it on a on a Friday, really, because of my timetable and, and stuff. But Anyways, expect a new video next Saturday and well, have a nice week.